Hey, what's going on guys? It is Top Mel Beachbody Coach. It is Thursday morning. I have something that I've been thinking about that I wanna share with you guys today. So, uh, one thing that I do not accept in my own life, for me personally, and, and I want that for the people that I work with as well, is that to not accept excuses. You know, there's so many excuses we can have in our life, such as uh, I don't have enough time, I don't have enough skills, I don't have you know the people skills, I don't know how to use social media, I don't have a big enough network, I don't know how to connect with people. And you've heard me talk about those things and, and ways to overcome those ideas and steps you can take to start working towards building those skills. But what I want you guys to know is I've been thinking about uh, one of the biggest things that I think has led to my success as an entrepreneur in the success of our team as we've been able to help uh, mentor other people into building their businesses online with social media, blogs, YouTube, and so forth. And the thing that I think it is, I think I confuse people often because I have over 1,200 videos and, and you guys see me, I'm optimistic, I'm excited about life today, it's Thursday morning, but here's the thing guys, th this morning uh, in our business for example, I had a $5,500 uh, drop in weekly income because of uh, a couple key pieces in our business that fell through this week. Some small things that we overlooked caused that. So most people look at that and be like, a $5,500 a week drop in income in a week. This is crazy. I don't know what to do. Um, this and that. And, and, and they go into like a spin or a, a, some sort of mini depression. I don't know. I can't explain it because I don't experience that. And it's something that I was raised by my parents, by my, my dad, Steve, and my mom, Linda, is that in order to survive, if you get lost in the woods, or you know we're in Idaho is you've got to have a PMA a positive mental attitude so I think I confuse a lot of you guys often and make it look like Beachbody coaching is simple and it's just a straight path to the top and it is absolutely not it's one of the hardest things I've done in my life the most rewarding thing by a million in my life but it is one of the hardest things but I think I do confuse you guys because I show up with these 1200 videos and with an inspirational post this morning on Facebook and on Instagram and on our like page positivity bringing energy creating energy and bringing energy to people and adding value to people and you don't get to see that stuff and I don't let that stuff affect me and so I think that's one of the key ingredients to my success as an entrepreneur is I don't let that stuff affect me. As a matter of fact, when that kind of stuff happens, what you could call chaos or what most people would see chaos, it drives me to work harder. It drives me to become better. It drives me to fix little things that I might not be doing at the level that I should so that we can become better. So I don't want you guys to, I want you guys to understand that. If I've confused any of you guys with these over 1200 videos, that it's not easy, that it's extremely hard, but I find extreme reward in doing that. And part of me and who I am is to have a positive attitude at all times. And things that help me do that is I think of things, when something like that happens, I think of something worse that could happen to make immediately make me look into perspective, which is the video I talked about yesterday, of it's not as bad as I could make it seem. Right? I could look at like, I could be sitting in my cubicle today for 12 hours, like I was four years ago, it's not so bad to make X amount of money and be home with my kids even though we lost this much this week or this happened. So it's always putting things into perspective. If you wanna look bigger into perspective, I could say um, I could have accidentally been driving today, uh, looked down at a Facebook uh, notification or a text or something and I could have crashed into somebody and killed them. I know that's a little bit extreme, but right, that's something that could happen that would completely change my life and be a drastic thing. And I'm not saying that I do that, but I look at, at different perspectives and say, it's not so bad what I'm going through right now. So uh, relating that to being in the woods or getting lost if you're out hiking, the only way to survive is to remain a positive, keep a positive mental attitude, hope, faith, um, and, and perseverance. And that's what I expect for you guys out of your business. Love you guys.